look at the flower, not, not thinking about the remedy state and Dr. Bach's description of the vervain person, what do you see? What do you feel? It's the remedy for stress and strain, where there's great overactivity, um, whether in the mind or in the body. It's pushing oneself beyond one's strength. Although the desire of Bervain is one who always likes to work. It's a workaholic. And the general trend is to push, 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 push. There's this to be done, there's that to be done. And the Vervain too, by nature, is a perfectionist. So coupled with the amount of work to be done and the perfectionism, then it makes it a very difficult task to achieve. Vervain's a very tough plant. It's got uh, a ribbed stem, many, many stems, and they're thin and like almost like whipcord. They're very um, taut and tense in their direction. They're inclined to suffer with tension, probably an inability to sleep because of this overactivity of the mind. As the stem grows upwards, there are side shoots that come off in pairs, left and right. So it's, it's got a, a sort of geometry about the way that it's structured. The leaves grow close to the ground for the most part and as the stems grow up they seem to grow away from the leaves and into space so that as you look at the flowers they're like little stars held in space. So the positive side of Vervain is shown in this very beautiful pale mauve, in the tranquility of the flower, which expresses the idea that perhaps we should watch life rather than force it, not try to impose our will upon things, but allow them to develop in the way that is natural.